and welcome back to the next video in today's video i will show you how to display native ads from google AdMob in native ios application so first of all i will show you the output so this is a native ad now at the bottom you might be seeing that there is a one implementation issue but honestly i think this is an issue from the google AdMob itself uh, i have also asked this issue on stack overflow i have also reached a bounty on it but still i haven't got any answer I am not sure what I am doing wrong, I have also asked it on reddit as well as on twitter, nobody knows what I am doing wrong, so I am thinking that the issue is from google and mob itself. Uh, so if you see the implementation, the all, the all it says is that I am not showing this ad label at the top left corner, which I am already showing it, but anyways, if you know what I am doing wrong, do let me know in the comments. Uh, I will show you that exact issue as well, uh, like what it even though it is not an issue so this is how a uh, you know a native ad look like but the advantage of using native ads is you can customize it however you want to but honestly i won't uh, customize it much like you can customize it a little bit but don't customize it too much because uh, this there might be some implementation issues uh, this uh, that this ad mob native ad validator might throw also this validator like this pop-up you will only see in test ads you won't see it in production ads so if i want to show you the issue which is not really an issue if you go over see native ad checklist if you see it was saying me that there is no ad attribution but i have already shown this ad or attribution so i'm not really sure what they are talking about but anyways let's uh, get started with the implementation so just create a native ios project then what you will have to do is i'm using swift package manager so i have just copy pasted this uh, github url then i went to file add package dependency and here i pasted this uh, url and here you can and you you are here you are have to paste the url click enter click on add package i have already done it so i won't do it again next inside assets i have added uh, like this images for our star okay for rating bar and i have also created this yellow color uh, for this uh, label at the top left corner and this is the hex value for it next uh, okay let's see next we have to add this dash objc inside our build settings because the library is written in objective c so go to your uh, targets go to build settings search for other linker flags and add dash o capital b j small c capital uh, and once you've done that here you can add this key uh, application identifier this is a test id later on i will show you how to create production id and from this SKAD networks you can add any one of the id so i have added first id which belongs to google now there are this multiple ad network identifier if you want to know which one belongs to which whom uh, then you can se select uh, click on this select third party buyers it tell you it uh, it will display you a chart of it so if you go to info.plist here you can see i have added this identifier as well as i have added this SKAD networks and i have only added a uh, google uh, google one if you uh, also make sure you add this validator enabled if you are not seeing that pop-up which i show you uh, where did it go this is the pop-up for us so if you are not seeing this pop-up even if there are no issues you should be able to see this pop-up it will say that zero implementation issue from okay and if you want uh, you can disable this for production like make it as no next we have to initialize our mobile apps hdk so i will go to swift i'll copy this as well as this bit of code so if i go to app delegate here you can see that i have added this import google mobile ads uh, import as well as i have added this bit of code to initialize our google mobile ads next we will select uh, native ads so inside native ads uh, if you see we have to create a loader again this is a test id later on i will show you how to create production id as well so if you go to view controller here you can see i have created an uh, variable for uh, add loader and inside view did load i have initialized it if you want to use multiple add options you can use something like this and inside options you can pass this but i'm not using that because 
there is uh, like showing multiple ads is little tricky and it requires you to add a listener as well like a refresh listener uh, which is not specified in the documentation that's why i have avoided it so yeah here we are loading ad loader and also assigning the delegate of self so if you see at the top you will have to import this import google mobile ads as well as you will have to extend this uh, gad native ad ad loader delegate ad delegate as well as controller delegate video controller delegate okay next we have to load this ad and there are two ways which they have shown uh, so this is uh, sorry we are just loading there sorry so here you can see i am calling this as well okay next uh, this is for multiple ads so if you are curious you can use that next uh, they have uh, initial uh, like they have overridden all these default methods which are present in the class which we have uh, implemented so if you see uh, this did receive add i have overridden it okay and here i have also overridden all these methods so if you are curious you can write your own implementation for all these methods as well next uh, we have to add this delegate equal to self which i have done it over here next uh, now to display it so there is small and medium size ad uh, honestly the docu if you see like they have provided an example over here uh, the over here but this is completely out of date uh, so i have created my own example so what i have done is that uh, i have first of all i have taking a a native ad view this ad view should be parent view so and inside that ad view all this uh, ui label should come within okay so i have created a ui label for displaying ad label at the top left corner then an image view for displaying the image of the ad then a headline for displaying the headline of your ad i have taken a ui label then the advert for the advertiser label then for ratings image view i have taken an image view then for body i have taken a label then this guide media view will help you to display a video and if the video is not present it automatically displays an image and then the uh, one for the install button one for the store label and one for the price label okay next uh, if you see inside once uh, so i am calling this setup constraints but i am calling it uh, where am i calling it Oh, okay i inside view did load itself so here you can see i'm adding our ad view to our main parent view of view controller but all the other views are added inside the ad view so if you see over here next i have so added some ns layout constraints as well to each and every one of them so if you want you can pause the video and copy paste it okay so just normal ns layout constraint stuff okay once ns uh, once we receive the ad so now i am displaying the uh, image inside the image view headline inside the headline label media content inside the gad media view uh, then i am checking whether there is video content or not if yes then only assign the video controller if not then print to the console that okay this ad does not contain a video then i am assigning a body label as well uh, then advertiser label then install button setting the text for it as well as call to action and store label price label and um, i'm setting the install button interaction as false because the click a listener will be handled by the google mobile ad itself we don't have to worry about setting the ratings image view then at the last we have to add this add view dot native ad equal to native ad and this is how i'm calculating the rating uh, view so yeah i think yeah that's it uh, thank you for watching bye create uh, the production ad units for ios just go to apps just click add app and here you can add your app so ios i have not deployed it to play store i'll click on no click continue give your name ios native ad something like that click add app and here you can click on done and then you can just click on uh, click add unit and here we are displaying native ad so yeah native advanced and here you can give any name so i'll just give some random name click on add unit so here you can just copy paste this inside your source code as well and for linking your app once you have deployed it to app store you can just go to app settings 
and here you can click on the add button and add your app via the url so yeah that's it thank you for watching bye